In this video, we are going to talk about how you can stop bad bots on your WordPress website and how bot mitigation can help in this. So if you want to protect your WordPress website from bot attacks, then let's dive in. Hi, my name is Ankit and welcome to Magazine 3 YouTube channel where we talk about everything related to WordPress. And if you want to learn more about WordPress, then make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so that you can get notified whenever we upload our next video. So before we cover how you can prevent bot attacks on your WordPress website, let's first understand what are these bots and what they actually do on your WordPress website. So in simple words, these bots are some malicious scripts that once hit on your website, they try to exploit the maximum possible resources on your web host and then they block your website resources so that a normal visitor cannot use your WordPress website. And if we talk in technical terms, this is called DDoS attack, that is distributed denial of services. So these bots drive a lot of traffic on your WordPress website and then they choke the website bandwidth so that a normal visitor cannot visit your website and they might see errors like service not available. So now we know what these bots are and what they can do. Now let's understand what are the different type of attacks that they can do on your WordPress website. Now the one which we have already discussed that they just visit your website in a very large quantity so that your normal visitors won't be able to access your site. Another example could be in terms of an e-commerce website where these bots can lock your inventory in the cart and then your normal visitors see that the product is out of stock. Now these kind of bots are highly trained to attack e-commerce website and another way of attacking is by accessing your contact form or maybe a comment form and they go ahead and fill up your contact form and then your inbox get loaded with the contact form submitted or on the other hand in the comment section they just try to post some links so that they can have a backlink from your website. So these are the type of attacks that these bots can do on your WordPress website. So now we know what these bots are and what type of attacks that they can do on our WordPress site. So now comes the point that as a website owner, what you can do to prevent these kind of bot attacks. And for that, we have bot mitigation techniques that can help us identify these bots and then we would be able to secure our website from this kind of fake traffic. Now to get a clear picture of how bot mitigation works, there is one more term we should understand that is web application firewall. Now both of these techniques are meant to prevent your website from malicious attacks but the difference is that web application firewall is meant for bots as well as a human attack and on the other hand bot mitigation technique will only help you prevent these bot attacks. Now when we talk about WAF, the way they work is by referring to their policies or a database which helps them understand that the visitor on your website is a bot or not. So this firewall actually works for both humans as well as bots. But on the other hand, when we talk about the bot mitigation, it actually works on understanding if the traffic is a bot or a real human being. And for that, it uses bot mitigation principles which deals with identification of the traffic to detect if the request made by the visitor is a kind of a request made by a human or it is a request which looks like a bot is doing. So basically bot mitigation detects any malicious automated request and then it denies the request of that bot and prevent any future bot attack on the WordPress website. Now again we come back to our example of e-commerce website. Like if a human is visiting a WooCommerce store, then they will just browse the product, add that into cart and either they will complete the checkout within the next few minutes or they will just walk out from the website. But if the visitor or the traffic is a bot attack, then they will add the product in the cart and they will never complete the checkout and they will keep the cart logged so that your normal visitors cannot buy that product anymore. And if you have a security plugin which is based on bot mitigation techniques, it will identify this traffic or this visitor as a bot and then it will block it right away so that that particular visitor that is a bot visit will not be able to over utilize your website resources and your website will work smooth. So basically in bot mitigation, your security plugin or your security system identifies the pattern or the behavior of the traffic source. 
if that looks like a human then it will let it pass and on the other hand if the visit on your wordpress website seems like that they are trying to lock or overburden the website resources then the wordpress security system which you have installed will mark this as a bot visitor and it will block it right away so what are these behavior checks that these bot mitigation technique can use to identify that the visit on your wordpress website is a human or a malicious bot so for that there are various factors so to name some we start with number one that is use of captcha on your website now to understand that a visit on your wordpress website is by a human or by a bot your security system on your wordpress website can do various behavior checks so for example you may have google recaptcha added on your wordpress website now this could be an inbuilt feature of your security plugin or you can do it from any third party plugin which allows you to integrate google recaptcha on your wordpress website so with that this gives an additional checkpoint for your traffic or your visitor to help the system identify that if it is a human or a bot and it's a huge challenge for bots to pass through google recapture another point is that you can do a check on your analytics and see if the traffic that you are getting on your wordpress website is from your target audience or if it is something from a country which you do not deal with for example if your website is built in india and it's only dealing with the indian customers then it should raise a red flag for you to see the traffic coming from maybe china or russia or any other country which you will never work with in that case you can easily identify this traffic source as bots and then you can block that using your security plugin or buy some code in HD access file the next point to understand the bot behavior is to check the backend login attempts now this is the most common bot attack that happens on WordPress website that the bot is trying to access the backend and it's using some permutation combination of your username and password to get a login in the WordPress website so when you get a traffic which is trying to access the the WordPress backend and if you have a WordPress website and you are using your username and password as admin admin or admin123 or any easy to guess username password then make sure you go back on your WordPress website and give it a strong username and password because what these bots do is they just go to the backend of the WordPress website and try a hell lot of combination of username and password just to check if anyone works so that they can access the backend of your WordPress website. And there are various plugins which you can use to block this kind of attempts and most of the security plugins in wordpress block this kind of brute force attack by these bots where you can limit the number of attempts that one can do while trying to log in in the wordpress backend so if you set the limit as two so after the two failed login attempts so the security plugin will lock the backend for that particular visitor so in order to understand these bot attacks and how you can prevent that on your WordPress website, we have created a separate video covering different aspects of these bot attacks. We will link the complete playlist in the i button above and we will leave the link in the description of this video as well. So you can go ahead and watch those videos and try to have a better understanding about these bots and how you can stop them at various levels. And after that, I'm sure you will be in a better position to stop these bot attacks on your WordPress website. So if you like this video then make sure you hit the like button and to watch more videos related to wordpress security and wordpress in general then make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so that you can get notified whenever we upload our next video so that's it for this one and i'll see you in the next one